so we all know two wheels can be dangerous, or just any OHV riders in general. Yes, this is one of the best extreme sports that really lets you explore the most remote places on this planet, but doing so safely is always a plus, and that is why I want to discuss the top most dangerous things to dirt bikers. See, the first thing that really stood out to me was blind corners and ATV and side-by-side -side riders who lack experience on the trails that don't know any better. These guys can be a real hazard if they come in through a blind corner at 30-40 miles an hour. Now I'm not down talking about them, this can be car riders or even dirt bikers ourselves. These are just guys who really don't know better and don't really take the precaution like to say hey, there might be other people out on this trip. So Colorado has seen its share of head-on collisions, so by far I believe this is one of the main dangers that stand out to us. Yeah, so, you know, just be careful out there, guys. A lot of side-by-sides and ATVs, and it's not just them. I, I seen cars do it out on Rapper Range Road. They take a blind corner, and then before you know it, bam, you're shit out of luck. You hit them head on, and you're gonna have a messed up day. I wanted to talk about the second thing that are dangerous to dirt bikers. You know, besides common sense, you know, boots and the, the bikes dropping on you and stuff like that. But if you least expect it, something's gonna hit your eye. So wear your goggles. Second thing is definitely eye shit, man. Just stuff flying right at you. Just the other day, just, just earlier today, I was out riding on 300 nobody's in front of me or anything like that but i was out on rampart range road i don't know what hit me a bug a bee something hit my face i don't know what it was but that damn that shit hurt i think it left me a black eye or a bruise or something luckily i closed my eye or maybe i blinked or something i never saw it coming but imagine if it just went straight to my eyeball man <laughs> what did i really messed up day my uh, third thing and that is uh i know it's a shocker water you gotta have plenty of water so the story goes is uh i was out doing a jeep trail i don't remember if i had a camelback oh no i didn't have a camelback that's why i bought my camelback so yeah i was out on this jeep trail called independence trail it was my first time on it and i knew it was gonna be really gnarly but i didn't know it was gonna be that bad and that intense so i ended up doing the whole trail i couldn't get out at the end so we had to turn around and do another crazy turnaround i ended up running out of water i got super dehydrated and i was on the verge of i don't know passing out or getting a heat stroke or something just because i was just so hot and all my food was just drained out so if i would have had water probably this would have never happened so i could only imagine the other people just left out stranded out in the middle of nowhere with no water that must be really bad and horrible and the fourth thing i kind of wanted to talk about is a uh, sharp object i'm not gonna lie i got poked by one not too long ago yeah so i got poked by one uh knocked me off right on my uh, of my bike and to be honest, if I wasn't wa wearing armor, I think I would have, uh, I think it would have impaled me. It hit me right in my fox armor. You know, say you fall over this way. I mean, this is soft, it's all rotten anyways, but you know, say it's a fresh branch. You know, you see that. I mean, the chances are low, but say you're rolling down, you know, I mean, that probably won't because if you, your bike falls that way, you're gonna fall to the right. That probably won't even happen anyways. Let's say, you know, you're shit out of luck, you're rolling down, got those sharp branches, man. I mean, a lot of factors also do play in, but. And there's finally one last thing I wanted to talk about, and that's emergency braking on the dirt, peat gravel or whatever slick. I mean, it's easy on pavement. Perfect example, there was a truck just earlier back there i wasn't even going that fast i was going like maybe 25 but he stopped right at a blind corner like what the hell dude you know but you know i want i really want to practice um emergency braking on the dirt my front locks up a little bit and you know i keep i just want to keep doing it over and over until i slowly get better and the front you know is about 80 percent of my braking that's usually maybe 80, 70, I would say. Well, anyways, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys like my content. And if you do, hit that subscribe button. I tour all over Colorado. Not really tour, but ride. 
all over Colorado and uh, hit that bell button though guys if you do if you do subscribe hit that bell button it definitely helps me out a lot and I'll catch you guys on my next video